Hi, it's uh, Martin here again. Uh, another video on uh, 4x5 uh, large format uh, field cameras. And in this video I'm going to show you a range of movements that you can use uh, with your uh, field camera to control uh, perspective, uh, increasing depth of uh, field, selective focus and um, altering the shape of objects uh, within the picture. So the first movement for controlling um, parallel lines and perspective is uh, front rise and you can see that in this picture the bed is level the front and rear standard is level but the lens has been pushed upwards on the front standard and as we all know if you've got a fixed uh, focal uh, length lens and you point at a straight object in the picture such as a building that if you point the camera upwards to get it all in the, uh, the lines of the building converge as it goes upwards to the top. By doing this you can avoid that. The, uh, the lines on the building remain parallel but you get more in by uh, pushing the lens up on the front standard. So that's a way of controlling perspective and parallel lines. Now in this picture it's showing the lens uh, dropped on the front standard and it's the opposite of uh, front rise. This is front fall and it's, if, we put, if we want more at the bottom of the picture, again, if you point the camera down, if it's on a fixed focal length lens, uh, you're going to get converging verticals. So using the camera exactly the same way as in the first picture, but uh, the lens is moved downwards, it's called front fall. If we want increased uh, control of perspective and parallel lines, we can um, do it this way, like in this picture. Uh, it's called drop bed we uh, incline the, the bed of the camera so that's inclined downwards the front standard is, is straight the rear standard is straight and then we drop the lens down as far as we can and you get increased uh, fall on the lens in this picture uh, which is opposite to the previous one a drop bed this is called incline bed uh, where you, uh, you, you keep the front and rear standards level incline the bed upwards and then push the lens upwards on the front standard and that will give you a, a more uh, rise than you would normally uh, just pushing the lens upwards when the uh, camera is level. And that way you get uh, more rise and fall using those two movements drop bed and incline bed. In this picture which is called a shift bed we can swing the the front and rear standard at the same degree, the same angle, plus shift the front and rear standards, and that way we'll get uh, elements in the picture in focus where the camera is at a different uh, plane of focus to the actual thing that you're photographing. So like in a previous video uh, I did, I photographed a fence and I only used uh, front swing uh, to bring both planes into focus. If you can swing the rear standard to the same angle as the front standard then you do get uh, far more uh, control of planes of focus so it's a little bit more complex but well worth trying. This picture shows the front standard move to the right it's called shift. Uh, it can be shifted to the left it's very good as an aid for composition and like we've just seen in the previous photo for uh, a movement like shift bed. So that's uh, another very useful um, movement to have. Now to increase the depth of field uh, in an image and you can see in this picture uh, we tilt the, the front standward downwards and to do that what you would do is focus on the foreground and then tilt for the background. Focus on the foreground and tilt on the background again and then do it again and that way both foreground and the rear will come into focus. I would always advise stopping down the lens a little bit to do that uh, because the central part can sometimes go a little bit soft. So by stopping the lens down it just increases the sharpness in that area. But wide open you, you can get foreground uh, to infinity in focus without stopping the lens down. So there, there are two ways of creating a depth of field with the, with the field camera. Now in this picture it's showing front swing. It's where the 
front standard is swung to the and that's for bringing things that into focus that are not at the same angle um, so you might have one plane of focus going straight forward but your camera's at an angle to it by swinging the lens you can bring both near and far into focus in this picture swung to the left but it can be swung right now to use uh, selective focus it might be like you're doing a portrait and you just want the eyes of the person in focus and the, the, the bottom of the face and the top slightly out of focus but this time you tilt the lens backwards and control the plane of focus and you can isolate other subjects in pictures I did a video of a key where I use the uh, but I use swing to isolate so there are different ways you can uh, you can use the the front standard to, to give you a, a selective focus to correct or distort shapes uh, within the composition uh, we use the rear standard uh, as an example if we've got a composition where there's a rock in the foreground and we want to increase the apparent size of that rock uh, all you have to do is uh, tilt the rear standard backwards if we want to make it look smaller we tilt the rear standard forward uh, if you've got swing on the rear standard you can uh, manipulate the shape of objects uh, to the right and left of the composition just by using the the swing uh, on the um, rear standard as in this picture Anyway, that's, that's about it, the movements that uh, you can use on your 4x5 field camera, for that matter, an 8x any size camera, really. Um, I hope you found this helpful, because I know when I first started uh, into large format photography, it can be very, very confusing. Uh, so, what I would say is get your camera out, uh, practice some of these movements, and um, once, you, once you get used to it, you'll realise how, how a versatile uh, tool the 4x5 camera can be using uh, the movements that I've shown you. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.